colder. Cold. Ice cold. Now you're hot. Yep. Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning. I've got 15 eBay orders to ship out, and I'm also going to my antique mall today to take a few things there to refill the booths. Uh, but first, I'm going to answer a couple of viewer questions. First is from Jose Gona. Hey John, my name is Jose. I'm 14 years old and I love watching your videos. I have two questions for you today. One, do you take multiple pictures when you are listing stuff? Two, why don't you keep the Cincinnati Red stuff? I like the Cowboys and I'm always looking for stuff and I keep it. An answer would be nice. Thanks for the awesome videos. Okay, number one, um, I do try to take multiple pictures. You know, the buyer can't be in person to see the item. So I'm trying to give them like a 360 view, you know, all kinds of angles. Uh, if there's any kind of like damage or dings or whatever, I take a picture of that. eBay gives you 12 pictures for free. So more often than not, I'm trying to use all those pictures. If it's something super simple that doesn't need all 12, I won't use them. But a lot of the time I'm using all 12 pictures because I really think photos will help sell an item for you. Uh, second question, why don't I keep all the Cincinnati Red stuff? If you saw my basement, <laughs> you would probably know why. I've just got tons and tons and tons of red stuff, more than I can display. So I try not to keep everything that I find. I just keep some of my favorite stuff. So hopefully that answers your question. Next is from J.A. Why are you always looking for vinyl records? This was on a uh, comment on a garage show video where I was asking people for vinyl records. And I always ask for them because they sell really well in my antique booth. I think I sell like 75 to 100 a month. I sell a lot of vinyl records. And average selling price on those things is around, you know, six bucks or so. So they do really well and they're getting harder to find because a lot of people are collecting them so i always try to ask for my garage sales and sometimes it pays off i've learned that if there's something you're looking for specifically just ask and every once in a while they're going to pull it out and you know i've heard a lot of times like oh i didn't think anybody would want this you know for old video games or cameras or whatever so if there's something you're looking for garage sales make sure you're asking the people i went ahead and pulled this bin for my storage unit because i sold a number of things out of it Oh, somebody's out there, sounds like. Okay, um, let's see. First thing I sold out of here are some mugs. Let's go ahead and pull those. It's two of the Starbucks mugs. Uh, Pittsburgh and Chicago. Not that one, that one's Tennessee. Let's see, there's Pittsburgh. And I think Chicago is back here somewhere. There it is. Uh, I got these two at a garage sale last weekend. I'm about $10 into them, so they weren't a great buy. I was hoping they'd be worth a little bit more. Uh, the pair sold for $21.98 plus shipping. And let's see, I'm also pulling out one of these uh, Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatments. I got this two weekends ago at a garage sale for $2. It sold for $15.99 free shipping. And I think there's only one more thing in here. Let me double check my list here. Yeah, I sold a pair of Docker shorts. Yeah, it's um this pair of Docker shorts. Got these last weekend in the garage sale. I had a, a bunch of stuff in a bulk buy, so I've probably got $2 into these. They sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm shipping out are CDs. I didn't even have a chance to put these away yesterday. I just listed them and they were sitting on my table and they all sold. Um, first up are these... Uh, rock CDs. I made two different lots. One was like 33, one was 34 CDs. Same buyer got both of them uh, for $69.98 free shipping. And I'm not going to be shipping these in priority mailboxes. They're going to go media mail, which means they need to go in an unmarked box. I just stored them in here for, you know, storage purposes, something to put them in. Uh, let's see, moving right along, I sold some CDs out of here because some of them I grouped by artist so i sold three fleetwood max cds for 12.99 free shipping and i might have sold another lot in here yeah i sold three beatles cds for 14.99 free shipping you named joe about these for his son garrett so guys thank you so much for the support really hope you like these cds okay next that sold is uh 23 pop cds uh there's like don henley michael jackson there's a bunch of them in there in my experience, pop don't sell as well as rock and country, so price these a little bit cheaper. Those sold for $17.99 free shipping. I sold a lot of country, uh, 19 of them right here. 
those sold for $19.99 free shipping. Um, I've got $20 into all these CDs. I bought them last weekend and decided to lot them up yesterday and sell them. And I've done pretty well already selling them all. The only thing I've got left are uh, three Yes CDs. But besides that, they've all sold. Those country CDs are going out to a viewer named Dennis, and he got two other things that we're going to go ahead and pull. Let's see. Dennis got a Walking Dead toy in B1. It is the Water Walker, so we'll put that with those. And then something down in D6. It is another Walking Dead toy. Uh, Dwight, right here. Um, the two Walking Dead toys sold for $17.98 plus shipping. And he got one other thing over in F6. It is this right here. I'm wondering how many of you guys watching this know what this is. This is a uh, coin dispenser. And it's got like some clips to where you could like put it on your uh like on your belt buckle or on your pants and you would put coins in here so we got uh pennies dimes nickels quarters and a lot of times if you would go to an arcade back when they had arcades if you need a change you would just go up to the coin guy and he you know get you some quarters whatever change you need and that's what that is um i got this in piqua when i was picking through danny and parker stuff so i've probably got five bucks into it it sold for 19.99 plus shipping Okay, the buyer of these CDs right here, the Pop CDs, got two more things. One is a pair of shoes right up here. Let's see. These are Works brand aluminum toe um, women's shoes. Those sold for $34.99 plus shipping. I also got those up in Piqua. And the other thing is over here in D8 is a goofy Dorbs figure. Grab that. All right. Um, let's see. Not that one. Not that one. Well, I thought it was in D8. Did I say Goofy? Yeah. I don't know why I was looking for Donald Duck. Okay, there it is. Uh, that sold for $6.99 plus shipping. All three of those are going out to your name, Karen. Karen, thank you so much for your support. Really hope you like all that stuff. Next is in B2. This is an L.L. Bean plaid button-up. Um, I really don't buy a lot of clothing. You guys probably don't see me sell too much clothing, but there are certain brands where I see them. If they're cheap, I'm going to buy them, and L.L. Bean is one of them. I got this probably six months ago at a garage sale for a dollar. It's an XL Tall, which I also think helped uh, sell it. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, I sold two more things, but in my listing, I forgot to put... The bin they were located in so i'm gonna have to go to my active listings and sort it by date that i listed and find what bin i was listing in that day yeah not easy to do so give me a second i'm gonna try to find those two things and i'll pull them and show you guys what those last two things are okay crisis averted that only took me a few minutes um the first thing are these wrestling figures i had let's see what other 14 of them uh i also i think i got these in piqua Honestly, I don't remember now where I got them, um, but I know they were part of a bulk buy, and I decided to do an auction with them, because I don't know if any of these are worth a ton of money, and I just didn't really know what they were worth, uh, but they ended up selling for $20.50 plus shipping. Your name's Steve, bought those for his grandson. Steve, thank you for the business. Really hope your grandson likes those figures. Okay, last thing we're shipping out today is this um, Daffy Duck figure, uh, the Dorbs. That sold for $5.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, I'm at my antique booth. I didn't bring a ton of stuff in today. I mostly just wanted to come by and spruce things up a little bit because it's been about a week since I've been here, but I will show you what I did bring. I brought in this Coleman Lantern I found at a garage sale a couple weekends ago. I paid $7 for that. I think I'll price it around $20, $25. Um, I brought in a hammered copper tea kettle um, that I got three or four dollars into. Brought in this big Hawaiian uh, wood piece. I paid 15 for that. I'll probably price it around 30. It's got a little bit of damage, unfortunately, so that's hurting the value some. Uh, I brought in this pleasure chest uh, cooler. A little rusted, but I think it'll do okay. This metal plant stand, big framed um, Cincinnati. Uh, Coney Island print that was from my storage unit 
and a uh, Coca-Cola crate that I've got five bucks into. All right, here's my favorite part of coming to the antique booth. Let's check the guest book. All right, since I've last been here, a lot of you guys have stopped by and signed my guest book. I want to give special shout outs to Dwight, Ross, Christopher, Bailey, and Parker, Nikki, Aaron, and Peyton, Ryan and Tiffany, and Craig and Susan. Guys, thank you all so much for stopping by. It really means a lot to me. Well, good morning, everyone. It's Lonnie. Welcome back to the warehouse. Uh, it's time to do a little eBay work, time to pull some orders. And, yep, yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Here's what we are pulling today. And obviously, I'm working in not my normal location, but I'm challenged to pull these orders from John's store. My store is currently shut down because it's on vacation mode. But John put me to work. So let's see how good John's system is on storing his stuff. I'm going to see if I can pull how many orders we got? Nine? Nine orders. Let's see if we can pull all nine of John John's orders. This is, John, this is a viewer sale. Okay. This is going out to Topher. Topher. So, Topher, thank you very much for buying from my buddy, John. Thanks, Topher. <laughs> and what did he buy? He bought a Physician's Formula White Clay Mask. Oh, I like this. John's in the uh, cosmetic trade, <laughs> looks like. So, I need to figure out where it's stored. Oh, you put it on in the title. Yes. I see. So, we're going for C2, which is right here. And look, I look. I've never been in here before, so if I'm able to pull all these orders, that means John could die tomorrow. I don't want you to, but yeah, I don't want to die. But if he died, then Whitney could come in the next day and pull all his orders. That's all the right. tricky part is getting the lids open. We've got base. I think out. this might be it right here. Don't don't tell me though. Physicians Formula Pore Refining. White Haliocyte Clay Mask. Okay, this is it right here. Thanks again, Topher. This is on the way. I'll make sure John gets it out to you. What did it sell for? Hmm? Oh, it sold for like nine bucks or something? What Not a whole lot. $8.79. Free, Free shipping. shipping. So, let's get to the next one. Let's see. New with tag. Swiss Gear 7 Pocket. It looks like a wallet or something. Uh, let's see. It is in C1, which is right here. This is easy. Look, he's got a nice little cart here. Ooh, it rolls good, huh? It's got some good wheels. I paid up for that one. I gave 50 bucks for that at a garage sale. Uh, worth it? Yep, 100%. Oh, check that out. <laughs> no, no, it rolls really well. Yeah, it does. It I ride good. it around sometimes. I just jump on it and just kind of- Media cart, because it had like the little spot. Oh, I never thought about that. The, but uh, yeah, you're right. So, I should put an Ikea bag on there. That's nice, dude. I like that cart. That's a beautiful car. And you know I love the wheels. All right. One of the rings. Forgot what we were looking for, but now I remember. We were looking for this guy. Swiss gear, card case, G1 leather. Okay, and we got, we sold that for $11.99 free ship. I'm sure that'll ship uh, first class package too. All right, so, so far, I pulled two orders and it was easy. John's organization is pretty good. All right, this is a baseball, signed baseball, C2. Now I gotta pay attention here. Southern League. Okay, I gotta have, I, I think it's we the have bin one you were just one. in. It's the bin you were just in. I know, but I didn't wanna make sure I pulled the right one. So it's got these guys. We'll make sure we keep this picture. Well, here, hold on a second. Look, the listing says. C2, C oh, it's got two. CL7. CL7, C2. Okay. So John has additional. They must be bagged or something when you're paying attention. Yep, they're bagged. CL, okay. Smart, John. Impressive. CL8. No, that's not it. CL4. Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Do your viewers know what that means? How many of y'all know who Mr. Noodle is? <laughs> Mr. Noodle! <laughs> uh, comment below if you've heard of Mr. Noodle. This must be it right here. Last CL7. one you touched. <laughs> the last one. The la Not only the last one. You can't just say last one I touched. Because I'll say, but, why, but Mr. Noodle, whenever you find it, you stop looking further. 
the last baseball that was in there. It was the last one. <laughs> How much did we? $9.99 PSOT plus shipping on top. It's like, <laughs> what, $3.99 shipping or something? Probably, yeah. yeah it's pretty so. cheap. Yeah, that's a minor league signed baseball. Yep. I was with you when you got that stuff. Yeah. You got that from a viewer. Yep. All right, next is a Titleist E3. Titleist pullover in E3. Okay, I'm going to find it. Let's see. Am I faster or slower than you normally are, John? A little quicker. Huh? I'd say, yeah. The only thing that's slowing you down is you don't know maybe E3. quite where everything is. Yeah, but the, your organization is really good. Thank you. I'm very impressed. And look how clean he keeps all this stuff. Look. Look, here's the tape. Here's a box resizer. I know where y'all can buy one of those. Look, he's got his bubble wrap up here. The box. You need to restock the bubble wrap, clearly. Look at all this. This is nice, dude. Thank you. So clean. I need you to come do mine. <laughs> dead for me. All right, we're looking for... I think we're looking for this. Because I think it said Corbin. Let's see. Titleist. By Corbin Plaid, yeah, $24.99 PSOT, plus $9 shipping on top. Where'd you get that, John? Tennessee at the 127 yard sale for $2 is what I paid for that. Oh, that's a nice profit. Dude. Yeah, nice uh, golf pullover. Yeah, it feels kind of expensive, actually. All right. This you know, is nice. I, I need you around all the time. Just pull my orders and I, think, I thinking, just sit back. I'm wondering if I can get... John, maybe I can get you to send me the files for the uh, thumbnails. Sure. Yeah. And maybe I could put jazz them up a little bit, like <laughs> a few sound effects or something. <laughs> Just joking. Ripping, ripping on my videos. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm kidding. That's sure. terrible. All right. <laughs> Shall I leave that in? Sure. I'm okay. Care. I'm going to leave that in. But it was not. Anyway. Uh, Kate Somerville. Erratic Kate, get it? <laughs> That's what it says. I know. <laughs> uh, H4. Uh oh. That's okay. It's not in here. I'll figure it out. It's not in here. Master Noodle. It's not in here. It's not in here. No. Nope. Is it in there? Nope. Is it home? It's in my storage unit. Uh oh. We gotta go to the storage unit. <laughs> Is there anything else on that list in the storage unit? Let's check. It's um, cheap because I don't have to make two trips to it. No, it's fine. Let me double check. Uh, there's one other thing in H4 that we'll okay. grab while we're there. All right, cool. Yep. Let's All right. go to the storage unit, Let's kids. Let's do it. You got two H4 orders. First is the Kate Somerville. And then if okay. you scroll up, you'll see the next one. All right, we're in the Cincinnati Pecker storage unit. The bunker. <laughs> Call it the bunker. Look at this. Uh, I've got the cinder block walls or yeah all right we're looking for that eradicate uh h4 boom right there yeah man your your storage is pretty tight as far as the labeling goes you know what you need another little table in here or something yeah i know right eradicate that's martian it's on top Right here. Yep. Kate Somerville. Eradicate. There we go. So this got uh that's pretty good. Fifteen fifteen ninety nine free ship. And then we have one more order we're pulling out here. It is okay. The other thing is actually in this same box. Uh Harry Potter in half plot blood prints. This ain't it. That ain't Mr. It. Noodle. That's the order of the Phoenix. <laughs> You have all of them in here. Um, most of them are cassettes. I lined all the cassettes together, and then the CDs are by themselves. Ah, That's not it. Stone. It'll feel heavier. Goblet of Fire. It's at the bottom back Let's in there. Here. There it is. There we go. Half Blood Prince. All right, this sold for 17 CDs. $14.99 free ship. All right, that's everything coming from the bunker. Let's go back to the warehouse. Okay, next up we have some 2014 to 2018 Dodge Caravan floor mats, front and rear. I don't have a location, so don't tell me, John. 
How, well, do tell me, I think I've spotted them. Do tell me how much did you pay for them? Five dollars, and it was actually six total pads. They had two extra like front pads, so I already sold those other two for twenty five. Oh wow! Yeah, and then big, I just sold profit. these. Let's see if this is it. Grand Caravan. These look like the racing van, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the racing package. And a key, forty nine ninety nine. I'm not sure if it was plus or including. Yeah, plus shipping on top. That was a good problem, man. I love finding OEM floor mats. Especially, look. Look at that spell out. Grand Caravan. Yeah. Somebody's <laughs> proud of their Grand Caravan. And they yes. want the original floor mats. And they're willing to pay for them. Good one. That's a good, that's a good little tip for people. I see them a lot. It's something you actually see quite a bit of. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't know Jack. Now, I was actually, when I was talking to John earlier, I actually saw this. Right here. How did he label it though? Nope, he didn't say anything. So he just knows that he knows where this is. You don't know Jack Electronic Game. This is, I've never seen one of these before. I neither, that's the first one I've seen. $29.99 plus shipping on top. What'd you pay for that? $2. Wow, more profit. You got some good profit in this stuff. And you ship every day, right? Yes. Um, okay, last thing. Masonic Mason's Master Reference Edition. Heirloom, Holy Bible, Red Letter. That sounds like some <laughs> that sounds like some secret society stuff mm -hmm. on there. Uh where are we at? There's no location information, so we have to figure out where John would where would John keep a Bible? And, oh, it's probably going to be in the office, you big dummy. It's probably a shelf in the office. Remember what I said when you came in here? Huh? Remember what I said when you came in here earlier? No, Lonnie. Remember, everything in here is not listed. There you go. So that would be incorrect. Yeah. Hey, Candace. Hi. Candace uh, got a job as the Cincinnati Pickers secretary and receptionist. Administrative. Oh, administrative yeah. assistant. Excuse me. She's the new CEO of Cincinnati Picker Incorporated. You incorporated Cincinnati Picker, apparently. Yep. All right, hang on. Colder. Hot. Hot. Oh, you're scorching hot. <clears throat> you're so hot right now. <laughs> Colder. Cold. Ice cold. Now you're hot. Yep, you were hot just a second ago. <laughs> you're playing the hot cold game. Oh, my God. With Lonnie. I'm not playing it well. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there was a breakdown. In yeah, the, uh, breakdown in the organization. Uh, for thing. sure. Like, that could have fit in a bin. I probably should. If John, <laughs> if John were dead, this might have not went out. Yep. <laughs> we would have found it eventually. Anyways, nineteen ninety nine, PSOT. Um, That's it. That's it. Yeah, all the orders. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for we're... pulling them, man. Sure, man. All, All right, right, now go ahead and pack them up. Okay. Huh? <laughs> put, some, put some labels on them and get them out the door. <laughs> Want me to pack them up? I will. <laughs> no. Let's go. It's all good. It's all I'll good. I'll do it. No. But yeah. Anyways, uh, John's organization is really good. I was impressed. And I really like this warehouse space he has. Can I say how much you pay for this? Yeah. How many square feet is it? A thousand. This this whole thing right here is Yeah, the warehouse part is about 600. Office mm -hmm. part is about 400. So this part right here is not air conditioned, but you could actually open that. Keep you ever keep that door open so you hear? Not really. I don't run the AC you all don't that stay often. Stay in here, do you? No, you I get my in, job done business. and then I'm staying in the office. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I've got a fan in here. I've got AC. I've got the bathroom. I've yeah, look, the know, bathroom. I've got everything I need. A little dirty right now. I apologize. Not bad. Should be a little bit cleaner. This is really good though. Like he only pays four hundred dollars for this whole thing. I think that's an amazing deal. And it's uh, close to home. No social media home. while on the clock, Kansas. She's a CEO. She can uh, do anything she wants. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh this has been really fun getting to experience somebody else's space. I this is a steal. It's a good deal, yeah. Big time. 
All right, that's going to be it for today. Thank you all very much, everyone, for watching. I will see you all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. It's Friday afternoon. I'm back from the garage sales. I haven't really listed anything on eBay in the last couple of days, so I only have two things to ship out today. And Lonnie's not here to pull my orders, so I've got to pull them myself. All right, first thing that's sold is up here in C9. It's a Funko Pop. Let's see, this one right here. Got about a dollar into this. This is Speedy with Sword box. Not in terrific condition, unfortunately. This sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Next thing I'm shipping is in my storage unit, so we'll run over there real quick and grab it. All right, we're going to H4. It's a pair of jeans that I got last weekend. Uh, it's the INC brand. New with the tags. I've got a couple dollars into these, and they sold for $19.99 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.